Okay, this is a data visualization of uh, CO2 emissions, and the orange are the height of the states is metric tons per state, and the lavender ones are metric tons per person. And the scales and the yellows are averages for all states. And the uh, uh, so you can't really compare the orange with the lavender, but you can compare the orange with orange, lavender with lavender. So let's look at it. Oh, and that's, this is my uh, supervisor. Uh, let's look at per person. So Alaska versus California, for example, uh, Alaskans per capita emit way more CO2 than Californians do. Um, overall, uh, Alaska, emits less CO2, quite a bit less CO2 overall. Um, if we look at, you know, some other states, Louisiana, I uh, just selected a few interesting states. Again, the yellow are averages. So that's the average American state uh, in yellow there. So Texas per capita is fairly high, not as high as Alaska, but pretty high. But then for Alaska or Texas's overall <laughs> overall uh, emissions. I actually had to use two of them because it is so it was off the off the charts, so to speak. Um, and then Wyoming is an interesting one, also. So per capita, it's uh, you know it emits a huge amount of CO two. Um, but then some, you know, and then so a data, data visualization like this kind of then helps you ask questions like what, what do states like Alaska, Texas, and Wyoming have in common? Well, one thing is that they are exporters of energy, whereas California is an importer of energy. So, um, you know, seeing, the, seeing data in this format can help us start to try to dig down and... Um, ask some interesting questions about why these relationships exist.